I'm not going to sit here and lie and say that you don't pay more attention mm. to all of that the more you are in the public eye because let's face it I don't want to be looking like I did in some of these pictures <laughs> never like Margaret Thatcher had a voice coach who was told to I'm, speak yeah. slower and lower and never, have you been through all that I've never had a voice coach although I'm about to name drop horrendously here I did once get some advice on how to project my voice from Sean Connery oh. Oh. Uh, which so what was, what was the secret? I was going to say because he's got a really Very deep, deep voice. It was all about it was all about how you breathe and yeah, yeah exactly yeah. where you you try to. So uh, that's my claim to fame. But does that annoy you? We were talking about you know trying to encourage women into politics and trying to get women out to vote. When you, if there are young women watching this, they go you know all they seem to talk about with female mm. politicians how you look, what have you done to your yeah. hair? You know does that? I mean you're you're being very nice about it now and that we are we're asking it as well, mm -hmm. but. Does it annoy you that you it just get the policies, policies kind of get forgotten sometimes? Sometimes, yeah. And I, I guess what annoys me or worries me most about it is if, you know, I, I'm used to reading pretty derogatory things about myself in the newspapers, about how I look and my hair and all that kind of stuff. So for me, you know, it's water off a duck's back. But it worries me that younger women who might be thinking about going into politics, they'll read that about me and think, you know what, I don't fancy putting myself in the firing line mm. for that. So it worries me that it puts women... Off it happens going a bit into with politics. men as well, though, doesn't it? it I mean, Ed sure, Miliband but not, but not, not, like not, not to the same extent. Ed Miliband extent. got not, you know same, rough though, treatment, of course, but it, I don't think it's as consistent. I don't think it's as uh, vicious sometimes as it is with women. I suppose what I've tried to do, well, two things. I think the more women we get in politics, the more that will change, uh, and I, I'm really passionate about seeing more women, particularly young women, come into politics. But the second thing I've just deliberately tried to do is almost take a positive from it. If people are going to comment on what I wear, then I've decided I'm going to try and promote Feed young them. Scottish designers. <laughs> give them, well, some, no, nice, you know, give them so some nice outfits to see. Exactly, yeah. and, and Which use it to promote Scottish Be talent. Be honest, like the rest of us, when you get home to your hobby, do you just get it all off, get your chest on and then you sit and have a good like old that when I get up in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, shoes off, yeah. makeup nice, off, yeah. jogging trousers and t-shirt <laughs> on 